Hey everybody, Joe here. So today we're working on some two-piece green lamp paddles. This is going to form the core. We'll be putting a ferrule on the end of them. These are our 14-inch carbon fiber ferrules to convert the paddles into a two-piece. Here we have what's going to be the core of the paddle. Uh, it's three pieces of western red cedar laminated together. And we got the ends marked off for the lay, so it's a little center punch. And that will be going into the 43 inch King Canada woodworking lathe right here. I get that set up. And then we'll start using the tools to turn it down. And I'll show you some of that. I'll be right back once I'm ready to set it up. Okay, and we're back. So, ready to put the first half into the lathe and get started. On my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. That's centered on the, the hole there from the center punch. And line up this end. This is where we're going to be working up at this end. That is nice and secure. And then we tighten her up here. Check my fence. Square that up a little bit. every so often to double check our progress. Uh, here we go. We want to get just the right fit. We don't want it too loose. We have a sloppy joint. Nobody likes sloppy joints. And you don't want it too tight or you'll squeeze out all the adhesive when you go to attach it. This one's still got quite a ways to go, so I'm going to go back and forth, taking a little bit more wood off each time, checking it. And once I get closer to where I want it, then we'll do a little more video and I'll show you how the barrel slips on in the end. close here now. So here we've got the ferrule, we've got the caliper, micrometer, and right up at the end here, just fitting on nicely. Going up a little further, going to take a little more wood off the center and towards the end. Yeah, Let's see if you can see that. So there's still a little bit towards the end there, you see that. So I just got to work it up this way a little bit more, finish this off. Getting close. Check that again. 
I'm going to do a test bit here. Say we don't want to go too far and end up with a loose fit. Here's the very tip it fits in, just barely. The other end is real good. Just got to take a little bit off. We're not going to use the carving tools now. We're just going to use a little bit of sandpaper. time until we got our dust right. So there you can see it's on. Nice bit, nice and snug. Probably just a little bit too snug. I'm going to go to attach that. Whether you're using a type of adhesive, a glue, or an epoxy, you're just going to squeeze most of it out and then getting it on if it's this tight. So we're just going to clean it up a little bit more. to have some sandpaper around. Yeah, I even have a dog named Sandpaper. She's a rescue dog and when we got her she was going by the name Sandy. So me being a woodshop woodworker kind of guy, Sandy, Sandy, Sandpaper. So there we have it. Perfect fit. I'll get the other half done up next. Here's the other half, that's going to go on next, and then uh, I'll be back and show you what we're going to do next in putting the blades on. Hey, we're back. So yesterday I started doing a video on putting together a two-piece Greenland paddle, and I showed you how I was putting out the ferrules to the core of the paddle on the blades. And here's a set of Greenland paddle blades that are already pre-made. So two pieces of wood on each. One end and the other end. I meant to do this part yesterday and it totally slipped my mind. I got ahead of myself. But anyways, that's a set of blades. And you saw the cores yesterday once they were spun out for the ferrule for the inserts. And here's what they look like now. So here's one. So you got the core of the paddle, which you saw yesterday. The ferrules put on. And this set of blades are glued on. So there's that part. Carbon fiber ferrules. Other end, same idea, of course. And the insert for the ferrule that goes into the other end, joining it, the release pin, making it into a two-piece paddle. Next is to draw some lines on it, run it through the bandsaw, cut out the rough shape, and then we start working it with the planer and the spoke shave. So there you have it. There's a the two-piece paddle. Each half is made from 11 strips of wood. This is all western red cedar. You get the ferrule, spun out for the ferrule. Like I say, it'll be getting shaped out after running through the bandsaw to get the rough shape. And I may do a separate video on that as well. So that's it for now. Hit the like button, leave some comments down below on what else you'd like to see about the paddles. And by all means, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. That really helps us grow the channel. We're closing in on 750 subscribers now, and we want to hit 1,000 as soon as we can. So help us out, and I would appreciate that. Thanks a lot, and talk to you soon.